Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. We're back with another projector from JMGO and if you'd remember, we got the chance to experience the JMGO 01 last year which is a space saving device for consuming multimedia content whether streaming movies or playing games. Now what we have right here is the JMGO U2 which is also an ultra short throw projector and comes with tricolor laser technology, 4K resolution and throws 100 inch projections easily. Yep. This is more for consumers who are serious with setting up their home cinemas. So if you like what you're seeing so far, stick around. This is our JMGO U2 review. Just like how we begin all our reviews, let's talk design. Now this is a large piece of device at more than 2 feet in width, so it's not really the portable kind like the JMGO 01. The JMGO U2 has this flat rectangular form factor with these two audio chambers prominently set up. These carry the dual speaker setup for each chamber, totaling to 4 speakers, and the company says this design should help provide a surround sound experience. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and we'll talk about audio performance later on. It then has this recessed area that leads to the projection lens and the sides are populated with grills and holes for increased airflow to keep things running cool inside. And apart from some badges and labels on its body, the design maintains a clean look and the array of available ports are tucked neatly at the back. We see connectivity ports for LAN, optical cable for audio, two HDMIs, a couple of service ports, and another one for thumb drives or external hard drives. With this lineup of available ports, you can connect your TV sticks, set-top boxes, gaming consoles, and more while keeping things neat. Now let's go to its key offering since after all this is a feature-packed projector. As mentioned earlier, it can project images up to 4K resolution so you're assured that even though you're projecting 100-inch images, you get clear and sharp picture quality that can even stand comparable to the quality seen in cinemas. Not only does it aim to deliver detailed images, it also uses tricolor laser technology to aim and produce lifelike and immersive visuals through rich colors. The company even says that this tricolor laser tech exceeds the color standards of IMAX by more than 150%. That's a bold and an impressive claim. Adding to that, there's also HDR10 on board for added clarity and depth even when viewing dark or shaded images. Meanwhile, to produce bright pictures, it comes with 2400 ANSI lumens, so using the projector even during daytime is easy on the eyes. One of its best features, just like the JMGO 01, is that it's ultra short throw, meaning you can set it up almost anywhere as it can just be a few inches away from the wall. It's really space saving and feels more modern than going for your standard long throw projector. Those are mostly to improve picture quality, but in terms of audio, the quad speaker setup was developed by Dolby Audio and co-created with Dyn Audio, which, as seen from our JMGO 01 review, has been a really good performer. In terms of software, the JMGO U2 comes with its own Luna OS, just like the previous 01. You have the usual selection of available apps through its app store, but some are still not optimized for navigation as you would on an Android TV, for example. And going through the menu is not as easy and efficient. This is where the accompanying JMGO app comes into play as you can use your phone's display and use gestures to be able to quickly select things. But that's pretty much all you can do within the app as the companion feature that the JMGO 01 has adds another function as a standby device as a wall clock or adding some art in your room. The JMGO U2 doesn't have that and it might be due to different hardware used. Either way, it's something that I missed during my time with it. You can also choose between different picture modes like standard, user, and more. Selecting user mode lets you control brightness, contrast, hue, but I usually just stick with standard mode as it's the best profile for my watching habits. The projector also comes with auto brightness and senses how bright its surroundings are and compensates to give the best picture quality possible. We've spent a good amount of time with the JMGO U2, especially during the time that I was completing my home quarantine. We used it to watch movies, stream our TV shows, and even plugged in a gaming laptop to play and enjoy its 4K resolution goodness. Okay, so I'm not gonna stretch this portion out longer and simply cut to the chase. When you have a 100-inch screen with 4K resolution and all its features to make picture quality better, you do get an immersive cinema-like experience every time. We were mostly able to use it for streaming 4K content and needless to say, 
Vika and I were able to enjoy our time with its immersive visuals and detailed images. Its HDR10 helped make textures easier to appreciate and elements in images are easily seen. Brightness produced is also sufficient even when in use during the daytime. It can handle light spills from a nearby window or from a light bulb. But as long as there's no bright light directed at the wall it's projecting on, you'll be able to see details from the projector. But what I particularly liked is the way its colors are reproduced. Different shades of different colors are easily distinguishable and that says a lot about how JM Go put together this projector and gave it its tricolor laser tech. With its great color reproduction, it seems like they did deliver when they said it surpasses the color standards of IMAX. And if you feel like further replicating the IMAX experience, you can even use regular 3D glasses and watch 3D content for added novelty. Finally, it's got features like what the company calls frame insertion, which basically achieves that smooth and more fluid movements to avoid ghosting. It's great for sports and watching certain genre, but I personally don't need it while watching movies or TV shows. We also connected our consoles to it and coming from a full HD output, graphics are a bit muddy while playing Red Dead Redemption 2 but overall could still be more immersive than a regular 55-inch TV. But quickly comparing it against its smaller sibling, the JM Go 01, I enjoyed gaming better on the U2 as there are more details and colors present, whether it's a bright sunny day in-game or at night when everything is just dark. There's also a computer mode for PC gamers that aims to lessen input lags which is passable for casual gaming but not for competitive gaming where every split second counts. As for sound performance, each audio chamber houses a 15-watt full-range speaker and a 10-watt tweeter. Together, they deliver audio that's clear and powerful even for watching movies. Again, just like most built-in speakers, they won't replicate the performance brought about by a speaker system with a dedicated subwoofer, for example. But the volume and quality of its audio is more than enough for casual viewing. I personally would like to think I have high standards when it comes to audio quality since I like being immersed with what I'm watching, not just through visuals but also through sound. JM Go U2 made it easy for me not to hook up additional speakers whenever Vika and I watch our favorite shows or simply playing music through streaming apps. It was also able to keep things quiet while in use. The fans that blow out unwanted heat from inside is nothing more than a faint sound that's easily drowned out when you play something. And as always, the modern creatures aims to find special features and devices that make them worth having. Their creature feature, and for the JM Go U2, it would definitely have to be its tricolor laser technology that simply reproduces vibrant and lively colors. And together with its 100-inch projection size, it feels a lot more immersive as the colors are close to what they would really look like in real life. Definitely something to look forward to. The JM Go U2 is priced at 2,999 US dollars, but there's currently a promo code going on that shaves off 390 dollars. Purchasing the U2 also comes with free 3D shutter glasses and a one-year international warranty. It is a bit on the expensive side, but it delivers on what it promises. Plus, having a great speaker system for casual viewing could potentially save you from buying separate speakers. And that's about it for our JM Go U2 review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.